this is a message to, among others, those who try to limit the rights of homosexuals. In general, just anyone who seeks to limit the rights of any group that they don't themselves belong to. I think that you should always put yourself in the other's place. You should try to consider how you would feel if you were the one being denied rights. I think it's important to consider if these people that you have a problem with are an actual danger or threat to anyone if it is about that it bothers you if it's a personal preference or some kind of religious idea or if it's actually something that you have seen harm people it's different when it's a murderer or a rapist, those things clearly damage. There's the victim themselves and then there's the family. Families have been torn apart because of rape or murder. And that's not quite comparable to, for example, homosexuals, or if there are any racists listening. Because those kinds of things you can get used to. Someone being attacked and either raped or murdered, that's not something that one should just ignore or let become commonplace. But homosexuality, racial diversity, any other minority you could think of, as long as the rules are followed, as long as no one is forced to do something or is in some way put in a situation they shouldn't be, then what is the problem really? I want everyone who has a big problem with a group of people to really think about that, because if you have a good answer then there isn't a problem with you asking yourself that question. If you s if you stop to wonder, once again, murderers, rapists, I'm not saying that, I mean, I'm not for the death penalty, for example, but, and I try to get into everybody's heads, try to understand everyone. But there is a difference between understanding harmful act, the, the people who commit harmful actions, and allowing the harmful actions. I want to understand so that it can happen less in the future, so that we can find the root of the problem and treat it. And no matter how much I, at least, look at murder and rape, it never becomes okay. I can't... I can never sympathize with the perpetrator as much as the victim, no matter what has happened to the perpetrator. I think...
there is a bit of a boundary there. And once you cross that, you lose at least some sympathy. However, no matter how much I think about homosexuality, other races, I can't see a problem with letting them be part of society, letting them have the same rights as everyone else. They're not asking for rights beyond, they're not asking for special treatment. They just want to be allowed what straight people and white people are allowed. Once again, try to put yourself in the other person's place. I think any law, any rule that is passed, the people who pass it should have to put themselves in the other side's shoes. Once again, unless, maybe not as much when deciding punishment for actual criminals, but when it's merely an accident of birth, when it's not something they've done, it's just something they are, and it's not something inherently harmful to others, then just imagine if you were on the other side. Maybe you were once. And don't try to put someone else in a bad, hurtful situation just because it doesn't directly affect you. That's all I have to say on this for now.